Since 1998, the United Methodist Church has had a growing presence in the developing nation of Honduras and Central America. Started by the General Board of Global Ministries, this mission represents the only United Methodist presence in Central America. Over the years, the mission has flourished and has expanded to 23 different congregations and several United Methodist affiliated organizations. Bishop Elias Galvan had Episcopal oversight in Honduras for 18 years, prior to North Texas Conference Bishop Michael McKee taking on this role in 2019. With this transition in leadership, there now are natural and exciting opportunities for partnership between the North Texas Conference and the United Methodist Mission in Honduras. This budding partnership has already led to conversations between United Methodist congregations in Honduras and their sister churches in North Texas. What would it be like for us to, uh, to expand our world? Uh, that it's not just the 21 counties of North Texas, but our brothers and sisters in Honduras, whom we do not know, but uh, God knows them as well as God knows us, and, uh, and that we probably could learn something about you know, sharing the gospel with people in our own areas. Uh, I can see our church partnering with, with, with congregations here, especially congregations that want to, to uh, expand and multiply uh, in ways of, of, um, of, of helping to uh, create resources to, to purchase more land or to fund projects. Uh, to send teams to, to be a part of, of the work that's happening, to build relationships with churches, uh, honestly, to learn uh, from, from our Honduran friends what it means to, to go beyond the walls and what it means uh, to uh, enter into relationship with our community and to, uh, and, and to be more intentional about our discipleship and about our evangelism. Honduras is a beautiful country with an abundance of natural resources. Centuries of colonization and exploitation, however, have stunted the growth of its economy and the effectiveness of its government. As a result, gang violence plagues many urban neighborhoods, and people throughout the country struggle with access to education and adequate health care. There are people with hopes and dreams and skills and gifts and graces, and, um, and they'd like to share those. I think sometimes we, I have gotten such a negative picture of what the country is like that being here has really given me hope for what God is doing and can do in Honduras. And so um, it's inspiring to see how much they do, uh, that they don't wait for the perfect situation, the perfect circumstances, all of the resources to follow God's call. What does being in ministry with a neighbor more than 2,000 miles away look like? It's not just about writing a check or deploying a short-term mission team. It's about establishing relationships between North Texas and Honduran congregations, relationships based on values of mutuality and empowerment. Lo visualizamos como un acuerdo de ambas partes de compartir y crecer juntos. Eh, no necesariamente compartiendo en el mismo aspecto, pero cada cual poniendo algo en, en este acuerdo de crecimiento eh, mutuo. Bueno, nosotros siempre pensamos que el hecho de que conozcan más nuestro contexto ya nos ayuda porque cuando no conocemos de algo, no sabemos tampoco cómo ayudar. Entonces, tener así una relación con más iglesias beneficia mucho eh, a, en cuanto al cristiano también. Eh, se, no, uno muchas veces cuando no es aceptado, entonces trata de bajar eh, su, su espíritu, eh, de, siento que decae, pero cuando es aceptado uno siente aportar más, más, no solo a la iglesia, sino a los hermanos, tanto de otras iglesias, ¿verdad? I really look forward to a time whenever um, our missions team and in our entire congregation um, not only looks at the amount of money that's dispersed um, to the mission or to the individual church, but also looks at the relationships they formed and the benefits that that relation has garnered for both sides. Um, so that ideally, um, Prosper UMC or, or whatever church could get to a point where they say, yes, we, we gave this amount, um, but we've been in this kind of relationship and, and these are the things that we have discussed and prayed for for each other. 
I think that would be super powerful and be a great, great witness uh, to the world. Your church has a fantastic opportunity to partner with the church in Honduras. It is sure to be a transformational experience that will expand your vision of what it means to be in ministry with others. To learn more, visit the website below to discover ways that your church can partner with the United Methodist Mission in Honduras.